they are straight out of college. A new study finds millennials overwhelmingly say they are more cash strapped than ever with no hope of ever getting rich, let alone saving enough for retirement. Joe Reddy spearheaded the report for Wells Fargo. He joins us here in Power Lunch. Joe, great to have you with us. What is the overall picture that we are to walk away with when it comes to millennials and money? It seems like uh, they don't think they can be millionaires and yet they want to retire earlier. What should we understand about them? Well, that's an interesting dynamic. Millennials said they wanted to retire at age 59, Melissa, which is you know, really aspirational, but two-thirds of them don't believe they could ever save a million dollars. And we really wanted to debunk that myth, and that's a big part of the survey. In fact, when we drilled down a little bit on the folks that said they couldn't save a million dollars, um, that was about two-thirds of millennials um, were saving about 5%, um, with only 6% saving the, you know, the suggested 10% amount. And we looked at those that said they could retire, which was about 32%, almost a third of the millennials. Um, and about two-thirds of them were saving 5%, and 28% were saving the suggested 10%. So you know, it's definitely doable, and mm -hmm. they have their biggest asset, which is the power of time, which is what we're trying to emphasize. Uh, Wells Fargo did this study for a reason. What are the longer-term implications? for uh, financial institutions of, of this generation having these attitudes toward money? Well, I'm really bullish on this generation, and I go back to, you know, the power of time. They're very engaged in their finances. They've got some headwinds, right? So they've, um, about a third of millennials have student loan debt, a uh, median amount of about $20,000, and there's some gender differences when it comes to wages, um, all of which act as some headwinds, but, you know, we're trying to show them for as little as $26 a, a week um, if they start saving at age 25 um, and put away 5% of their salary, um, they can reach that million dollar threshold. So there's a lot of key competing priorities. We say take a personal inventory, look at your money going, coming in, mm -hmm. money going out, and try, and try and save that $26 at age 25. All right, Joe, some great advice. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Joe Reddy, Wells Fargo. Thank, thank you, Melissa. As older Americans uh, build up their nest eggs, our next guest has different messages for millennials. Drain that bank account, live for the moment, not the future. Here now, human behavior scientist John Levy. He's the CEO of The Influencers. John, welcome. Good to see you. Thank you. Uh, really? Drain the bank account uh, experience? I'm not saying totally drain it, but what I would advocate is that uh, millennials and people in my social circle have really redefined or redirected their goals. Right? We've gone from a culture where we're always trying to work and make lots of money to one where we've reprioritized experience and having an enjoyment and quality of life throughout the entire process. So travel more, uh, experience more, and spend our money on things that actually impact the quality of our lives. That, 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 sounds, that sounds great, um, but you have to make money to be able to have those experiences, don't you? And then, if you have not set aside a, a certain amount, you're not going to be able to um, have those experiences later in life uh, when you stop making money. Uh, that's without a doubt. I think that there's also a, uh, a difference in the definition of retirement. Right? Mm -hmm. When you look at uh, people in, uh, from my generation, mm -hmm. I don't think it's so much stopping as slowing down. It's mm -hmm. continuing to do what we're passionate about. Because overwhelmingly, when there's less uh, stability in the workforce uh, available, that c people aren't working for the same company for 20, 30, 40 years, that means we've become more entrepreneurial. We've approached these things from a passion perspective. And thereby, those things that we're passionate aren't necessarily work. It's those things that we're committed to. We're seeing a population that's far more driven towards uh, making an impact from a social perspective. We fall, it falls on us to really make a difference uh, in the world as a generation. And as a byproduct, we're working really hard towards that. So do you feel comfortable? I mean, do you feel comfortable that age, at age 65 or 60 or whatever you want to retire, quote unquote retire, that you'll be able to support yourself and or your family at that point if you've had this sort of view towards money for all of these decades. You have kids? Uh, I have family? no kids. I, I mean, think... don't, don't things change when you have a family? And oh, without to... a doubt. So okay. one of the things in general is that the people in my social circles and in my generation in general, we're getting married a lot later. So whereas our parents' generations were having kids in their mid and early 20s, we're getting married in our 30s and having kids in our mid-30s. So the uh, financial requirements are a lot less stringent earlier on. Are we over-worried about uh, retirement, do you think? Uh, I, no, not at all. I think that it's re a really important topic and that it's essential that uh, we learn great habits. Well, millennials are saving earlier. They're doing something right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, John, we have to leave it there. We'll have you back. Absolutely. Talk more. Okay, cool. John Levy, C